We better check in with Connor. Again, he's in right in the heart of it in Tampa. And again, it's been, what was it, 1921, Connor, uh, the last time that Tampa got a direct hit. That's right, Mike. Over 100 years ago, it's interesting how these weather pattern patterns develop, but it's almost been like a bubble around this area lately with storms kind of getting diverted. And we'll have to wait and see as we get closer if that will happen again. But this is obviously the most populated, populated area on the path of this hurricane. And even though it's a category five right now, it could get downgraded. Experts saying it won't matter. This is still going to be an extremely dangerous hurricane, bringing life-threatening storm surge and extreme winds to a wide swath of this Gulf Coast. We've got a big one coming. Hurricane Milton is barreling towards the west coast of Florida. The powerful storm could make landfall either late Wednesday or early Thursday possibly striking the region between Tampa Bay and Fort Myers. There's going to be impacts far beyond wherever the eye of the storm is. Officials say this could be a once-in-a-century storm, expected to bring intense winds and life-threatening storm surge that could reach 15 feet in some areas. We've got buildings that are 100, over 100 years old. They've never seen this kind of wind. Businesses across mandatory evacuation zones have already shuttered. Walt Disney World, Universal Orlando, and SeaWorld are closing Wednesday. Long lines of traffic are now the theme on highways and outside gas stations as people continue to flee, but pumps are running dry. I mean, this thing petrifies me. Major Florida airports have also suspended commercial travel. Those who got on last-minute flights out Tuesday are counting their blessings. I'm lucky that I got on this flight. And just two weeks after Hurricane Helene caused widespread destruction, there's a rush to clear debris left over from that storm to prevent it from flying. And right now, around 6 million people living on Florida's Gulf Coast under mandatory evacuation orders. Of course, people here in Tampa bracing potentially for some of the worst of this hurricane. Mike, oh, Alex. gosh, I can't even imagine. Uh, I guess you'll be with us tomorrow morning. Is it? Oh, God. The next 24, 48 hours are going to be miserable. Please be safe. And scary and dangerous. Uh, thank you, Connor. Check uh, with you later, if not uh, tomorrow. And to show you just how big this um, hurricane, the storm is, take a look at this video. NASA astronaut Matthew Dominic took a time lapse showing the storm's vast size from space. Look how big it looks even from space. Good Lord. Meanwhile, um, oh, here's another look. Wow. That is something. So flights are, are being impacted across the country. The Philadelphia International Airport has faced some delays so far today. Hank